Hey, this is Evan Moncats, dating coach for smart, strong, successful women and your personal trainer for love. So I want to tell you a story, a tale of two clients, if you will. Um, both of them are uh, Love You Masters coaching clients. Uh, those are my private clients that I work with on a biweekly basis, holding their hand through uh, my Love You course. Um, they're special to me. And uh, so when I share their stories, uh, I'm not violating their confidence. I'm, I'm sharing something with you that could potentially teach you um, so that you could avoid making the same mistakes that they did. So I've got one client. Her name is Renee. Uh, Renee is East Coast, uh, late 40s lawyer. She was seeing a guy once a week, I think, for about three months or something like that. She slept with him date two or three. Um, at a certain point, she was getting really, really anxious. I told her to break up with him after about five or six weeks. Uh, she was getting anxious, 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 leaning in towards commitment. Guy wasn't stepping up, refused to take down his profile. When I finally had her confront him, he said, yeah, no. And she was distraught. But as I pointed out in my previous video, she didn't really lose a boyfriend. She lost the illusion that she was with the guy who could be her future husband. She lost the fantasy that she was with a great commitment oriented guy, but he wasn't a great commitment oriented guy. He was just the guy who was sleeping with her once a week. So contrast that with another client of mine who, uh, her name is Lynn. She is uh, mid forties. Uh, she's in North Carolina. She started dating a guy, slept with him date two, uh, immediately became boyfriend, girlfriend. He was really excited about her, kind of love bombed her, um, you know, seeing her every day for two straight weeks, really intense, exciting. And then not long after that, she got to see his real personality, which was distant and surly and critical. And unlike Renee, who held on to him for three months, waiting for him to step up, Lynn cut this guy off after three weeks. Boom. That's how it's done. So I already tip, tipped my hand, but what do these two women have in common? They both slept with virtual strangers, right? And had very different experiences. They slept with men who were not their boyfriend. So when I'm making this video for you, I want to be super clear. I'm sex positive, <laughs> all right? I don't think sex is bad or immoral. It is simply objectively. When you sleep with a virtual stranger, you're going to find yourself in one of two positions. Number one, you might find yourself like Lynn did. She's got a boyfriend that she barely knows, and there's a distinct possibility that she's not going to like what she discovers the more she gets to know him. Or the more common situation is the one that Renee found herself in, right? Where she sleeps with a guy and then she's just sitting there and waiting for weeks and months, hoping that your once a week fuck buddy decides to step up and commit to you. So do you like that feeling right, of sleeping with a guy and knowing that he's actively looking for other women on dating apps, looking at your phone, right? If you don't like that feeling, stop sleeping with men who aren't your boyfriend. Slow down. Essentially, me and my mixed metaphors, it's like you're driving 90 miles an hour on the freeway and you're wondering, why do I keep on missing my exit? So your goal, right, if we pivot, is not to try to catch some man with the lure of commitment. Your goal is to assess a guy slowly over the course of a month and see what kind of boyfriend he wants to be. Right? Is he boyfriend material based on his consistency, his follow through? Is that mask that everybody puts on when they first meet, is it slipping? Right? What we don't want to do is just have sex with someone and then keep your fingers crossed afterwards. It's not a strategy. It's like diving into a pool and kind of hoping that there's water at the bottom. So it's easy to blame guys for using you for sex. Right? The harder part is saying no to sex, even when it feels good and when it feels right. And that's all I'm imploring you to do, not because sex is wrong, but because your judgment and emotions tend to get clouded once you sleep with a guy you barely know. Again, if you find yourself checking your phone all the time and cyber stalking him and generally feeling anxious about the guy you're supposed to like, that's not fun. Objectively, it's not fun. And believe it or not, dating is supposed to be fun. Guys who like you follow up fast. Guys who like you understand if you want to wait and don't want to sleep with him while he's sleeping with other people or looking for other people. And if you've never experienced that before, that just means that you've been settling 
and lowering the bar for what you should come to expect from men. So if you're sick of that and you don't want to be in that position anymore, you want to experience what it's like when a, an attractive man likes you and treats you right and follows up, please go to www.evanmarkkatz.com forward slash coaching, answer a few quick questions, and I will see if I can help you out. If you like this video, please leave a comment, share it with your friends, and I will see you again real soon. Thanks a lot.